Today, we will be trying out the Val EX. I have no idea how that is pronounced. I'm going to call it Val. This is an open source implementation of Microsoft's Val EX Zero Shot TTS model. This requires Python 3.10 and CUDA 11.7 through 12. I will use Conda to create a new environment using Python 3.10. Let's open a Conda prompt and change directory to where I would like to install this. Then let's create a new Conda environment with Python 3.10. Then activate the environment. Next, let's clone the repository. And CD into the new directory. And now we simply install the dependencies from the requirements.txt. The page mentions to have FFmpeg installed. I already have that installed, but I will also install it to this Conda environment. Let's go to Google and search Conda install for FFmpeg while the dependencies install. We will run this Conda command once the dependencies finish. It has now finished, so let's now install FFmpeg using that Conda command. Once that is done, we can run the application. Let's scroll down on this GitHub page to where it mentions launching the UI. Let's simply copy-paste. The first time it runs, it will take a while because it will download all the models and files it requires. Eventually, it will automatically launch the web UI. There are a lot of options and capabilities like cloning. For now, I will just select one of the examples using the default settings. I'm going to scroll down and click on one of these so it auto-populates the prompt and inputs. Well, look at that! That's no ordinary teddy bear. That is the input voice it looks like. And the box labeled text is what we want that voice to speak. Let's click generate and see what happens. It looks like it is using CPU instead of the CUDA. I forgot to install PyTorch with CUDA. It has finished. Let's listen to the output. This is how this machine has taken my voice? Great, it worked. But let's install PyTorch with CUDA so that it is faster. Before we do that, we can check to confirm that it is currently not available by running these commands. Python, then import torch, then call the method to check if CUDA is available. It is not available. I'm going to call quit to exit out of Python mode. Then let's head over to the PyTorch website to get the command to install CUDA 11.8 for Conda. And let's run it to install it. It has finished. Now let's confirm by rerunning the commands Python, import torch, and then call the CUDA is available method to see if it returns true this time. Great. Now let's quit out of Python mode. And I'm going to press up on my keyboard to get to the command to launch the UI. This time it errors. It looks like the CUDA install has some dependencies. If we scroll up on this error message, it says no module named Shardet. Well, I'm going to just install that by calling pip install Shardet. And now let's try to relaunch the UI. And now we get another error. This one is saying that NumPy has to be less than or equal to 1.24. So I will pip install NumPy version 1.24 by using the double equal sign.
Now let's relaunch the web UI again. And this time it worked. Great. Now let's try running the same example as before and let's see if CUDA is used this time. Well, look at that. That's no ordinary teddy bear. And it is now using CUDA. This is how this machine has taken my voice. That sounded different that time. Interesting. There are lots of settings, options and functionalities to play around with in this. I might do another video sometime in the future exploring the different things, but enjoy exploring this for yourself if you decide to install this.